is Blair with three layers of wellness. And I'll be reading from the oldest book in the world, The Teachings of Taihotep. This book was composed by three editors, ACG Hilliard III, Larry Williams, and Nia Damali. I picked this particular book because of how far back it dates. Um, this book was actually transcribed from an ancient papyrus that was found in the early 1800s with transcriptions dating back to as far as 3100 BC. And that's before Columbus, um, for those of you who may not know. And again, this is from the world's oldest recorded writing system, also called the Meta Nature. So it says some writers have referred to it as the wisdom literature of the ancient Camites, instructions and wisdom, or as ancient Camites themselves called it, simply instructions. And basically these are virtues of life. So for number one, do not be proud and arrogant with your knowledge. Consult and converse with the ignorant and the wise. For the limits of art are not reached. No artist ever possesses that perfection to which he should aspire. Good speech is more hidden than green stone emeralds, yet it may be found among maids at the grindstones. If you meet a disputant in the heat of action, one who is more powerful than you, simply fold your arms and bend your back. To confront him will not make him agree with you. Pay no attention to his evil speech. If you do not confront him while he is raging, people will call him an ignoramus. Your self-control will be the match for his evil utterances. Number three, if you meet a disputant in action, one who is your equal, one who is on your level, you will, become, you will overcome him by being silent while he is speaking evilly. There will be much talk among those who hear your name and will be held in high regard among the great. Number four, if you meet a disputant in action who is a poor man, and who is not your equal, do not attack him because he is weak. Leave him alone. He will confound himself. Do not answer him just so that you can relieve your own heart. Do not vent yourself against your opponent. Wretched is he who injures a poor man. If you ignore him, listeners will wish you to do what you want. You will beat him through their reproof. Number five. If you are a man who leads, a man who controls the affairs of many, then seek the most perfect ways of performing your responsibilities so that your conduct will be blameless. Great is mayat, which is truth, justice, and righteousness. It is everlasting. Mayat has been unchanged since the time of Asar. To create obstacles to the following of the laws is to open a way to a condition of violence. The transgressor of laws is punished, although the greedy person overlooks this. Baseness may not may obtain riches, yet crime never lands its wares on the shore. In the end, only Ma'at lasts. Man says, Ma'at is my father's ground. Number six, do not scheme against people. God will punish accordingly. If a man says, I shall live by scheming, he will lack bread for his mouth. If a man says I will be rich, he will have to say my cleverness has trapped me. If he says I will trap for myself, he will not be able to say I trap for my profit. If a man says I will rob someone, he will end by giving to a stranger. People's schemes do not prevail. God's command is what prevails. Therefore, live in the midst of peace. What God gives comes by itself. Number seven, if you are among guests at the table of a person who is more powerful than you, take what that person gives just as it is set before you. Look at what is before you. Don't stare at your host. Don't speak to him until he asks or does not know what may displease him. Speak when he has spoken to you. Then your words will please the heart. The man who has plenty of the means of existence act as his commands, as his ka commands, I'm sorry. He will give food to those who he favors. It is the ka that makes his hand stretch out. The great man jibes to the chosen man. Thus eating is under the direction of God. It is a fool who complains about it. That is it for part one of teachings from the oldest book in the world. Um, 
make sure you're subscribed so that you will get part two through five in the rest of the series this week. And don't forget to like and share if you found this to be insightful. Uh, for any details in the book, you can find that in the description. And until next time, peace, family.